Hey everyone, hey Terrifics out there. I'm your host, Andrea Fasano for Be Terrific, and we are here at New York Comic Con 2015. Welcome back to the show. Um, I'm still, I mean, we just have more and more people flooding in here. I love it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, and I'm sitting with two special characters right now. One may be in character, one may not. You decide which one's which, because I'm not sure yet. Uh, they are awesome. Welcome Chris Jones and Mr. J, or The Joker. Hello. <laughs> the best Joker I've ever seen, first of all. Well, there you go, there you go. Listen to you. That's the awesome. classics never go out of style. Oh either. my gosh, I love it. Um, so tell us both a little about yourselves. Um, well, my name is Christopher Jones. I am a comic book artist. Uh, I have done work for DC, Marvel, other publishers. Uh, probably best known for my run on the Young Justice comic, which was the tie-in to the Young Justice animated series. I've drawn Batman 66 for them, a bunch of other Batman and Justice League stuff. Uh, and I am here at the convention selling prints, doing commission sketches, meeting fans. Awesome. I know he already tweeted me, and uh, so many people are following you. It's insane. It is. Uh, you know, the social media has been such a great way to connect with audiences. It used to be the only way that, I mean, because comic book writers and artists, you do your work in solitude. The only right. way you ever get to meet your audience usually is coming to conventions like this. But now with social media, it's a much more day-to-day -day relationship that you can have in a very informal relationship. Absolutely. And they get to know you, yeah. not just the person creating the comic, not, not just the comic, the person behind yeah, the comic. Yeah, there's the potential for it to become a lot more personality driven yep. because you're not just the name behind the art that they like, but they can get to become a fan of you as the person, as the artist, Yes. along hopefully with the work and that you do. And you seem do. like a super personable person, so has that I helped try. you, I think? I it, think so. I mean, you know, I, I definitely have tried to use whatever gift of gab I have yeah. <laughs> to help kind of build a brand for myself. Excellent. Um, and it seems to be working. Awesome. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love meeting fans. I love talking to people. I love cosplayers. So all of, all these things that I do at conventions, trying to, to you know, talk to fans and have freebies available for them and, and very supportive of cosplayers and diversity and all these issues. It's like some of the way it gets talked about is part of, you know, creating a brand and marketing right, and all right. that. But it's all very from the heart. It's, it's the stuff that I'm already interested in. I'm already a fan of which just makes it a really natural fit. Awesome, and speaking of cosplay. What? <laughs> <over here. laughs> that's, that's good, nah. I like the laugh. Uh, Mr. J, yes. what's going on with you? How, uh, how, just, how are you doing? I'm the town, you know? <laughs> my kind of town, uh, you know, all my familiar, friendly, smiling faces. I mean, this is where I really fit in. Well, they call this Gotham. Well, I know. That's just why I'm here during the day. At night, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Batman comes, you know, he's, he's a little rough. I just had this dental work done. <laughs> oh my gosh. So tell me a little bit about you and uh, coming here. I'm actually here. a customer from uh, Minnesota. I'm uh, for about uh, five years, I'd say. Wow. Um, a lot of the work I do in Minnesota is uh, charity based. I uh, work with a group called Minnesota Superheroes United. And, oh, uh, nice. We do charity events for uh, you know kids and uh, like community events. Uh, so for the most part, from uh, spring to fall. We have an event almost every weekend. Sometimes we even have like multiple events a day. So wait a minute. So you're saying that you dress up like this almost every weekend? Yes. How do you do that? Um, With the makeup and the hair. Th the hair has become permanent. It's it's permanently it is. green. It's not just it's, spray it's on. It's not. Uh, <gasps> I bleached my skin. No, I I haven't. I just I've gotten very good at doing the makeup, so it doesn't take near like I, I can do this in about 45 minutes. I'd wow. Say. That's awesome. Yeah. And so. A little bit of a question. You're from Minnesota. How do, eh? how do people, uh, yeah, Minnesota, eh? How do they deal with you walking around with the green hair? Uh, usually I wear a hat. Do you do? Um, <laughs> but everyone at work, you know, they've, they've known what I've been doing for a long time. Um, they're all very happy and supportive of it. My family's very happy and supportive oh, of it. Oh, great. Well, and then, like, if, I, if I, you know, if I'm interested in a lady friend and she's not interested in the green hair, she's not going to be interested in anything else do. I do. That's a, it's a that's nice a litmus great test. Point. Single. <laughs> The least well, shocking thing said in the segment. <laughs> she'll, she'll be there. Um, that is awesome. I mean, it is for a good cause. Yes. So, can you tell me a little bit more about it? Uh, well, MNSU was founded, uh, it's, it's about a decade long 
organization that was founded by uh, just a couple guys who enjoyed costuming a lot, a Batman and a Superman of all people. Imagine that. Yeah. And they just kept, uh, you know, inviting more people in and it's kind of just grown into this organization of about 30 plus active members. And uh, it's, it's, uh, they invited me to join and I was, I was so honored and it's just such a privilege to be around. Like not only are they just great people doing like great work, for like we, we visit children's hospitals, we do um, you know cancer walks, uh, you know all all sorts of community events, um, wow. just w whatever you know uh, we can do to help, and uh, it's just been such an honor and a privilege to be able to work with those I individuals. That's awesome. I almost wish we had like footage from you doing these things. That's so great. Um, and so the what are you doing here with Chris? You come to these uh, I events come, together? I come and help Chris uh, out with anything he needs. <laughs> I am his. Booth band. But I love that that button. I kind of need one of yeah, those. I, I do about a, a dozen conventions on average in a year. Not wow. most of them quite as big as this one, thank right. goodness. <laughs> uh, but this one's been getting big enough. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm here uh, with my, my helper, my girlfriend, Hal, uh, who's back at the table right Hal. now. Hi, Hal. Hi, Hal. Um, and uh, this doing? this one has gotten big enough that we knew like a third person would be useful to have around. Very. And Mr. J here was at the top of our list for people to bring. Because, uh, you know, he, he's so great with people if you have mm -hmm. a chance to watch him. And uh, obviously the flash of this, uh, not the flash, but the, <laughs> the Joker, of this look, uh, it certainly doesn't, doesn't hurt any. Right. So, uh, yeah, and, and this, so th last year was his first year here. Yes. And yes. the biggest convention you've been at? Yes. So yes, it was kind of a... Wow, yeah, really. and uh, and now this year it's it's all old hat. Yeah, and it's kind of boring, really. New York, no, no it's not, not never, at all. Never gets boring. I can never it's, imagine it's that. Wonderful. So, um, well, I want to talk about you and your prince, but you sure. did just mention that he, so he's here. Do you run into other jokers? And is there like a joke I off? <laughs> no, no, no. That would be like a Deadpool. I think they'd be like, "Who's Chimichanga's bigger?" Is One of those kind of contests. <laughs> is it a um, laugh off? Do you go really like? We can, <laughs> sometimes a laugh. Yeah. Our respect thing. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> See, that's awesome. And then, and then, of course, there's all the Harleys. Yes. All the Harley Quinns that you it's, see in passing. and I, You know, one of the things about have, being with, with Mr. J at a convention is anytime if, if we're walking somewhere together, you always have to pad extra time into the schedule for the, for the inevitable points. photographs that yes. are going to happen along the way. They're all my mothers, but you know, well. she, she likes to take photos. <laughs> but that'd be awesome if you wound up finding a Harley that, that she got. I mean, who would get it more than her, right? Oh, yeah. I, actually, uh, I've... Uh, you know, I met somebody who does Harley, who I'm a really big fan of, like her work, and we, we uh, you know, sometimes do some photos and stuff together, awesome. and it's really, it's really awesome to see her every time I'm That's out here. That's so great. How cool is that? I love that world. It's a great icebreaker. I mean, you know, the, anyone is so much easier to talk to if you have a segue uh -huh. into that conversation, and, you know, even if you're not in costume, being able yeah. to recognize a character and say, wow, that's great what you're wearing. You did a great job with it. But then obviously if you're in costume and your personas have a relationship, yes. you're right into the conversation. That's awesome. Well, this is our first cosplay on the show, so I'm really excited about that. Thank you, Mr. J. My pleasure. Um, but Chris, tell us about your work. Um, well, these are all prints that I have for sale here Beautiful. at my table. I'm at table D9 in RS Alley. Um, this, it, these are characters I'll show it here. Yeah, These are characters from the television series Young Justice, which I drew the I comic book tie-in for. Uh, we've got their younger season one versions of the characters. Wow. And the season two characters that uh, it, it, season two picks up five years later. So they're all older and a little changed. Um, this is another print I have. They're featuring beautiful. Featuring three of the most popular incarnations of Batgirl. The title's Go Team Batgirl. I love it. Um, See, I would like one of those. That's pretty cool. And this this one is um, the Justice League, uh, the animated TV series version. Um, mm -hmm. That's another comic book I got to draw a few issues of. And this print actually happened because they are having a reunion of the voice cast of Justice League here this weekend. <gasps> and I'm friends on Twitter with Susan Eisenberg, who's the voice of Wonder Woman. And she suggested I do a print to tie in with this reunion they're oh doing. Oh my gosh. So I've done this and uh, some people have been picking it up and then taking it over to get the cast members to sign it. No way. So Now was that something that was known or was that a Well, was we've that been just we've been mentioning it on my social media. You have. I don't you know, I don't know there, there wasn't like nati a national advertising no, I know campaign that there's or something anything happening but, by But DC. yeah, the um the yeah, there, there well there's 
I don't get all the memos right. and all the surprise things I wish that you DC did. has. I <laughs> wish I did too. Then I could tell you and all of Everybody. you. Um, I, in addition Ooh. to being um, uh, doing all my superhero stuff, I'm also a big Doctor Who fan. Oh. So I have a number of Doctor Who prints. That's one that I actually did back in 2010 awesome. before they made almost the same joke in the 50th anniversary special. No and way. Um, I had all these people ask me, do you think somebody saw your print and then made that joke in the show? I'm like, no, I think that's just the obvious joke to make when yeah, you put those course. two doctors together. <laughs> right. And then of course That's I, a huge show now. It is. Huge. And then I had to mash up the superhero stuff with Doctor Who, so we of have course. Batman on the TARDIS. <gasps> oh wow. See, and, and this happened so I do commission sketches when I'm at a convention. Okay. And so people can come up and for a price, you know, whatever you'd like me to draw, I'll draw for you. No way. And at someone, the convention. Yeah, like at right the convention. There. And somebody came up to me with a sketchbook and said, All right, any superhero you want to draw with a TARDIS. And I thought about it for a second. I'm like, okay, I can do that. And so I did like the sketch version of this art. Really? And uh, everybody that saw it was like, oh my God, that's amazing. You need to make a print of it. And I was like, really? And this has been hugely popular. Wow. So, there so you what go. Do, you, do you charge someone for coming up and, and asking you to do go? Yeah. A I mean, they're, you know, they're, I, they're, yeah, the rate varies a little bit from show to show. But okay. yeah, someone comes up and I can do a full figure or do multiple characters or just a headshot for different different prices. Really? Um, the, the, you know, it, I'm busy enough at the show talking to people yes. that it's hard to get as much time in drawing as I might like. So mm -hmm. the list fills up soon. But yeah, a lot of artists do that at shows. You can, you can get custom drawings from them at the convention. But because it's hard to get more done, that's why it's nice to be able to do the, the prints. Because yes. then I can put a little more time into something at home and then, you know, just for a, for a lesser price, I've got copies for sale. and Amazing. Yeah. So if I said, like, could you do, like, somebody's face or something different? Like, have you ever done something like that? Yeah, uh, drawing a likeness from, like, yes. a photo or something is a little more time-consuming. It so it's a little trickier to do at a convention when you're busy with people and stuff. But, yeah, I've done that. But you have these characters so down. Yeah, well, it's a lot easier. I mean, aside from you know a, char a character like Batman or mm -hmm. somebody, no, no offense, um, <laughs> that that I know very well. Also, as long as it looks like Batman, that's a lot more forgiving than oh, it has to look like whoever. And West Batman, right? So, right. so you know, but but uh, yeah, I I've done both. They're both fun to do. Interesting. And so that's it. That like what? So after New York Comic Con. What, what do you do next? Uh, I am going home to continue work on the new graphic novel I'm working on. Uh, I'm working on a graphic novel with writer Tony Lee. Uh, we actually don't have a publisher set for it yet. It's being independently financed. And once we have the bulk of it done, we'll be shopping it around to see who can make us the best deal for publishing and distributing. Wow. But uh, um, it's in development for other media as well. Um, We'll be, we'll be rolling out a lot more information about that in the next couple months. All but right. that's, that's what I can say right now is I'm doing a graphic novel with Tony Lee. Awesome. That's yeah. some big news. Yeah. So, okay, your Twitter and social media, how can they follow you since you put so much information My up on My website is ChristopherJonesArt.com. Okay. And there's links there to my Facebook and my Twitter and my Tumblr and... I'm having my arm twisted to get onto Instagram, so I'll be everywhere soon. That's Are you I am. kidding me? You have to be on Instagram. I know. That's what I'm being told. Oh, you have to listen to whoever's oh, telling you this. All right. Instagram's where it's at. As I'm saying, if you're anyone with an artist, I have a photographer friend, all I do is yell at him, screw right. any other social media, you get on Instagram. I will declare in front of your audience Andrew right Pisano now. Andrew from Be Terrific I'm told you. I'm getting onto Instagram. <laughs> good, good, because you need to. <laughs> okay. And I'm and Mr. J on Instagram, so Mr. J. follow me. Is I it, post funny stuff. Is it all funny? Is Usually, it Joker yeah. It's, stuff? Pretty, it's all it's all pretty much Joker stuff. Awesome. There's a tiny, like a little bit of like maybe me like at work, like eating a sandwich. <laughs> no, it's it's pretty much just all Joker stuff all the time. I'm gonna go because I want to see you with your green hair in normal life. Do you have any of those on there? I think I do. It's way, 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 way down. Uh, it's called scroll. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much. You've been pleasure, fantastic pleasure. Thank guests. you for having us on. Um, and I'm going to have to talk to you about this print. Those are gorgeous. Thank you very much. Yeah, you guys, good luck with both thank of you your so endeavors. Much. Enjoy your, your weekend at New thank York Comic Con. Thank you. I'm so excited. That, yeah, like I said, this is my first week here. So it's an awesome day so far. I'm like, what time is it? This is and just... 
It's only Thursday. It just it's gets crazier Thursday. from here. That's what I keep saying. It's insane. Wait till you see Saturday. I'm excited <laughs> for Saturday. I think the weekend's going to be really big. So, um, yeah, we'll do it up. So, thank you guys again. Yep. Once again, I'm Andrea Fasano for Be Terrific. You guys stay right there, Terrifics, because we'll be right back after this. Thanks. <laughs>